Alright, let's get started. So right now I have a picture of Marcus Brownlee. If you have a picture like this, you might want to crop it first. So by using the selection tool, only select the part that we're going to be using for the artwork. Alright, once you've selected the area, you want to click on image and then click crop. Alright, now that we have our image cropped, chances are we're going to get a very low size image. And if you were to start with a low size image, you would end up with a low resolution artwork. So what you need to do right now is click on image, click on image size, and you want to change the height to about 2000 pixels and above. Alright, and then you press OK. Alright, now we can start. Alright, the main tool that we're going to be using today is called the pen tool. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, it's basically a tool that helps you to create a path. And you can then create lines, strokes, or shapes according to the path. This means that you don't have to do a freehand drawing, especially not with a mouse. It's going to be all wobbly. Alright, let's get started with the face. You can start by creating an anchor point from anywhere you prefer. And then you basically trace around the edge of the face. You can use as many anchor points as you like, but try to be practical. You don't need that much anchor points to achieve certain shapes. So to make your life easier, try to use less anchor points. Alright, once you're done creating the path, press Ctrl plus left click to get out of the edit mode. Next, we're going to create a new layer. And then we right click anywhere on the screen. Click on fill path. And then we need to take a sample color from the face. And press OK. And just like that, we're done with the face. Since we already created the shape we wanted, we don't need a path anymore. So we just have to right click and click delete path. Next we create a new layer and do the same thing with the ears. Alright, once you're done with 1D, you can press Ctrl plus left click again to get out of the edit mode and continue with the other ear. So you don't have to create a new layer, you can do both ears at once. Alright, once again, we right click, fill path. And then press OK. And press right click and delete path again. And then you create a new layer. And do the same thing with the neck.
Alright, in some cases, you might want your anchor point to be sharp and not curved. To do so, just press the ALT key and click on the anchor point. Now once again, control left click, then right click, fill path, and then you press OK. Alright, you notice that right now the face is pretty much blended in with the neck. So we have to add some kind of shadows to it. To do this, create a new layer and click on the brush tool. Oh, and just a fun tip, you can adjust the size of your brush quickly by holding down the ALT key, followed by the right mouse button, drag right to increase, and drag left to decrease. It's up to you whether you want to use a soft or a hard brush for the shadows. For me, I prefer the soft brush. Next, we have to pick a grey color somewhere in the middle of the color palette. And then we paint it just below the jawline. Now you want to right click on the shadows layer and click on create clipping mask so it only applies to the layer underneath which is the neck layer. Next you want to change the blend mode from normal to multiply and then you can adjust the opacity according to your likings. Alright, next we're going to create a new layer and continue with his hair. His hair is pretty simple to make. If you're using an image of a girl, it might be harder since the girl's hair are mostly on the foreground and not the background. Alright, right click and flip off again and press OK. Oops, oh, sorry, I forgot to take a color sample. Alright, wait. Take a color sample from the hair and then you press OK. And then right click, delete path. Alright, now that we're done with the face, we're gonna create a new folder and do the same thing with the hoodie. So let me just speed this up for you. Alright, for the lace, I'm just going to start by creating a new layer and painting the hole with a normal hard brush. Next, we create another new layer, and by using the pen tool, we create a path along the laces. Alright, 
Alright, once you're done creating the puff, you want to click on the brush tool and adjust the size according to the size of the lace. Once it's the same, you want to go back to the pen tool. Right click and click on stroke puff. Make sure your brush is selected and simulate pressure is off. Take a sample color and then you press OK. And then you delete puff. For finishing touch, we're going to add a few shadows to the hoodie by using the same concept as we did with the neck earlier. But this time you're going to create the shadow shapes by using the pen tool. So first you have to create a new layer. You can hide the hoodie folder first, so you know where the shadows are. And then basically by using the pen tool, you just trace along the shape of the shadows. Alright, once you're done creating the puff, you want to select any grey color somewhere in the middle of the color palette. And then you right click, and click fill puff. Press OK. And then you delete the puff. Alright, now you want to change the blend mode of the shadows layer to multiply. You can unhide the hoodie folder now, and then you can adjust the opacity of the shadows layer from there onwards. Uh, let me just add some lines here real quick. Alright, not bad. And then you want to add a new solid color layer. You can choose any color you like. And then you press OK. Alright, we're done. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.